Hey guys, today we are unboxing some fun accessories for our foodie, all while having a whole lot of fun. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I am Chris from RecipesThatCrock.com and today for Foodie Friday, we are going to do something just a little bit different. We are going to unbox some of the accessories I've received recently in the mail for the foodie and then also I've also got another unboxing that I'm going to throw in here that I think foodie lovers and also just in general uh, anybody who uh, watches the channel might be interested in. We are doing this <laughs> because, well one, I needed to show you guys these things, but then also, we've had a lot going on here. If you've noticed over the last several weeks, things have been just a little bit different, and that's because we've had a lot going on. We were transitioning back into Indiana, which is a normal thing for us. However, we also had a lot of unexpected uh, repairs going on at, in our home. So that means that cooking and recipe testing and all that fun stuff, if you watch the vlogs, kind of just came to a halt. And so to be able to have a Foodie Friday this week, I still wanted to be able to test a few recipes that I've been testing and I still need to go back through and do that and we'll be doing that over the next week. So today we're just going to have a fun mail day and look at some of the fun things that are out there or at least things that I haven't seen, I hadn't seen before until recently for the foodie and then talk through. I'm going to share my favorite food processor because I had to finally put mine to rest because she would not shred the cheese anymore and that just doesn't cut it anymore <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today all you recipe lovers next next video friday we will definitely have a recipe back and hopefully everything will be back to normal around here but for this week we're going to do something a little bit different and i hope you guys enjoy it um amazon and i uh have a uh have a love relationship for uh, accessories and things like that. I love testing out things in the foodie and my instant pot and my air fryers and all those kinds of things and my crock pots for that matter. Um, and I saw a couple of things recently that were solving some foodie problems I was having. So let's open this up. I'm not sure which is which because I ordered this before everything went chaotic and it kind of arrived I think in the middle of it all and so I haven't even looked at these things I have cracked them open so you don't see me sitting here trying to fight well I don't think I cracked this one open so we'll get, you'll get that content too okay so the first thing that I saw was I'm trying to see what they're calling this does it say it on the outside of the box they're calling this the uh, seven inch cake pan for six to eight quart slow cookers, or not slow cookers, uh, pressure cookers. And it is your typical uh, bucket pan that you see for a lot of air fryers. One of the interesting components in it though is it has the release part on the bottom where you can lift it out and I'll show you that more here in just a second but the reason I was super interested in it is it comes also ouch with these little guys you see this it comes with a set of one two three four five six seven seven of those little guys let's see i can show you here you see them in there so this would be good for i'm guessing like little custards uh also poached eggs it's a very interesting concept um it also kind of goes along the lines of something else i don't know that i've shown you this either hang on the silicone show you it's kind of the same thing I don't yeah they call it egg bites for the instant pot so this is like a little silicone thing 
Aunt Lou has made little mini muffins in hers in the Instant Pot, so it's just another way uh, to uh, make things. This one is intriguing to me for like maybe little mini egg casseroles, so using my egg casserole recipes but making um, little egg bites so it already has everything divided up in the morning for portions when we have busy mornings and the advantage to this one is that you can just pop the suckers out if they get stuck at all okay. what are you doing i'm unboxing things you you're not in the camera you'll have to go up there i'm unboxing things too i got her a brand new light looks like that let's go into our bathroom so we can see I gotta go. So this guy, this package, I'll put links to all these things down below. This one came with two, and one of them has a silicone lid to it, and then the other one has like a hard lid to it. So you can use the silicone lid under high heat, but the plastic lid is only for storage. So my guess is, Again, I haven't tested yet, but my guess is you could probably use that silicone lid and maybe even stack to do a lot of things at one time. We're going to have to test all these things. I think these would be neat to make little cheesecake bites too. I'm just saying. And then if you're, this one, the one I originally started out with, you'd want to make sure and butter it nice and um so things don't get stuck in it but to me these are more for when you have guests over for something like a cheesecake bite or um one of the things i was wanting to try is our little uh our low carb pumpkin pie or our uh low carb uh um coconut bars that filling down in here i think would be fun for a little dessert to have so that's something, so this has all these guys in there. I'll be really, really uh, honest. When I see this, when I see the size of these, I was hoping they were bigger. Now, I realize if I had done math when I was looking at the picture, they wouldn't have been bigger. But I would like to have a set like this that maybe instead of seven had like five cups in it or even one with just four because I'm looking for something that would do that. So I know you can do it with custard cups and all that kind of stuff, like you can find things, but anyhow. One of the neat things that this little pan comes with as well is it already comes with the pre-cut parchment. You can cut your own, of course, but it's nice to have that already done, so that'll go in the pantry. And then you've got your pan where the center pops out, and this helps you so that when you bake up a cheesecake or even um, if you were to do uh, like caramel rolls or something like that, you can use this to punch it out once it's set up. So that's nice. The thing, the good thing about this is it's stainless steel, so it's going to last longer and not scratch up like the nonstick. The bad part about this is it's going to be harder to clean if you do get stuff stuck on it. So you're going to want to make sure it butter or grease your pan really, really nicely when using this guy. So that's something fun for us to look forward to. Yeah, I did think these were going to be bigger. I think that they'll work, though. You could make many desserts in them. Or I think they also would work for the egg bites. It'll be interesting to see if I like this guy better or this one. So we'll see. All right, so that's that. I totally forgot I had those. I'm glad they were sitting over there <laughs> waiting for me to test because I forgot that I hadn't shared that with you guys. Okay, this one is just another pot. But the reason I wanted this one is, okay, let's see. It's got this, which is a lid that has steamer holes in it. And then inside of that, it has another pot, a pot within a pot. But that's the point of why I wanted this. I wanted it for this big pot. 
Do we hear Mikey now making noise? Okay. He's making a lot of noise in there. Okay. I wanted it for this because I want to do more pot in pot uh, pressure cooking. Because one of the things when you're pressure cooking. Sorry. I'm trying to find something. I'm leaving. I have been wanting to do more pot in pot uh, cooking in my instant pot. And so an example of that would be the eggs inside the glass anchor hocking bowl. I think I have it right here. <laughs> there we go. So this guy, okay? The problem is with the, with recommending the Anchor Hocking Bowl, I've used them for years inside the crock pot. I have used them inside my pressure cooker, but I will say in my pressure cooker, it makes me a little bit more nervous than inside my crock pot. You have to be very careful with glass whenever you're removing it from such a high heat to like, you don't want to put it directly on a cool countertop like what we have because uh, that heat, uh, the, the heat change, um, if there's any kind of uh, barely visible crack that's even beginning to form, you could shatter that. Not to scare folks, but you see, everybody's seen those scary pictures. And part of that is if you uh, have a big heat change. Now, I realize that things get really, really warm in the crock pot, and but usually I just let things cool off in the crock pot and go on. For the most part, when I'm using the bowl inside the bowl uh, in my pressure cooker, I am tending to um, need to do another step following that, and so I get a little concerned that. I don't want to, I don't want one, the glass to shatter on me, but I definitely don't want the glass to shatter on you guys. So anyhow, I saw this and when I saw this, I was like, this is perfect because this gives you that nice, deep, additional um, pot that you could put on the trivet and put the water down and below because when you're pressure cooking, you have to have for a six quart pressure cooker you have to have at least a cup of liquid um, down in the bottom and some t for some people in some um, altitudes you can get away with just using like the creamy soups and those kinds of things um, to count as your liquid a little bit more than other folks with other altitudes and also I think it's also whether or not your instant pot or foodie is sealing properly as well so there's all kinds of factors so generally it's easier to cook in your pressure cooker if you have some a lot of liquidy liquid but a lot of our dishes we don't want to be watered down at the end and so this pot in pot uh, strategy is how you kind of get around that and so I just wanted to start doing that a little bit more and since I was going to be doing it a little bit more I like the idea of doing it in an actual stainless steel bowl instead of doing it in a glass bowl just because you know I know what to watch for for myself and I can warn folks you know make sure before you use a glass bowl please check it and all that kind of stuff but folks don't always read that kind of stuff so sometimes this is just an easier way to do that but I like this little set uh, it looks like this is almost like a little bit of a um, double boiler if you want it to be here so you've got that if you want it. So this would be kind of interesting for those who like to make um, multiple things, like maybe a meatloaf down in this, and you could put your potatoes in the top part, like for people who enjoy doing that kind of thing. So there's all kinds of things you can do with this stuff. And then again, we have this lid, which is nice too. So lots of experimenting to go on around here. But those were the two, well, three, um, items for the Instant Pot and Foodie that I got intentionally for us to start testing out and trying. I will put the, like I said, I'll put the links to all this stuff down below for you guys so that you can um, go check it out on Amazon if you want to. Um, but the last thing 
sorry, not a frame, that I wanted to share is I got a, I've been telling you all on the vlog for a while that I needed to replace my um, food processor at home because the lid broke again and I think this is the second or third lid I've replaced on it. I've liked that food processor over the years, but I had gotten a smaller, more uh, easy to use food processor in my camper that I fell in love with. And so it was like, there are a few things that I come home and go, oh, I wish I had the thing I use the camper more. Um, so I decided to go ahead and get me one for the house. And I need to cut this open, so let's see how difficult this is going to be. Now, I can't remember because I think I bought the first one in the store. So I don't know if this is going to be the same size as the one I have in the camper. I'm hoping it's just a little bit bigger. I'm thinking it is, but we will see. I'll be able to tell you here real soon. And you might ask yourself, why do we have a set of things in the camper and in the house? Now, there are some things that we don't have double sets of like really, really expensive things. Um, but I will say for the most part, the reason that we have like our own mixer in there, for example, and our own dishes in there, is that things don't get, we, we go, we're here and there so often that things don't get properly moved. Things get forgotten. And so with the camper already having its own set of pretty much everything we need to tape and, and do those kinds of things, we forget a whole lot less, which is nice, especially when you're in the middle of nowhere and you don't have a place to get a food processor. So here is, let's see, this one is, does it say, it doesn't say, it doesn't say it on the outside. I was going to tell you how big it was. We'll see. Okay, these are the sharp blades I shouldn't be cutting myself with. Oh my goodness. I think it... Construction. I think it might be a little bit bigger. Let's see. Maybe I'm just pretending. Or being hopeful in my head. Let's see. Come on now. a little bit bigger yay that's what I was wanting I need it smaller in the camper so that it will fit and um, and I also have a smaller refrigerator so I'm not shredding up as much cheese and stuff at one time as I would at home where I have more space to store things <sighs> sorry I want to get this out so I can show you why I love this thing so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let go. Okay. Alright. So here is the base. Is that... It almost looks like it had a cord winder on it. I don't think my other one does, but oh well. Okay, so here's the cord. Now, I love this guy. It has off slice shred puree mix uh, pulse to chop, okay? So here is why I love it so much. My lid on my other food processor has been broken by those who will not be named multiple times because it is so frustrating to get the like to line it up properly to get the lid to slide the way that it's supposed to to get the pieces to go in it like it's supposed to and all that kind so multiple things have been broken on it over the time one of the ingenious parts of this particular model from hamilton beach who for years i thought that it was a Black & Decker product. So I don't, this is not sponsored. I'm just telling you, I love this. Okay, 
So this is called the stack and snap and that is why I love it is because it all just goes in straight. It's like there is no questioning which way it goes. You can see on the base where the handle goes. It's not just circular and you're trying to figure out, okay, is the handle in the right place? It literally just goes straight on. That's it. There's no figuring it out. It literally, there's only one way for it to go and it goes straight on. I love that, especially when I'm doing 20 other things in the kitchen and I can't, you know, I'm not paying attention. Like, of course, if you were stopping and being very careful, you could always figure out where the little line is to, no, I love this because I don't have to be looking for lines or anything like that. It literally just stacks on there. Same thing with these guys. It's not complicated. It is literally a little square and it lines itself up. It's got this brilliant hexagon shape here. So no matter what way you try to put it on, it goes down. Because even though this is square, because the hexagon is the shape that it starts with, it just, it will always go down. You don't have to figure out exactly the way that that piece needs to go in. This one you have to be a little bit more careful with, but you really should be paying attention anytime you're using this guy. This is the, the piece that I probably use the most, and that's the cheese slicer. But again, it's a square. A square goes directly on there. My other piece, I had to turn it into the blade, and then the post had to get exactly situated the right way and then go down in there this literally is a stacking situation like you take the blade out here stack done I love this thing again that that shape is brilliant to be able to maneuver this and not frustrate somebody trying to spin it a sharp blade trying to figure out how to get it then the lid that, again, I've had to replace several times because usually on a food process processor lid, you're locking it into place like this. That's not how this goes. This has tape on it still. Like, I am shocked that more food processor companies are not using this, this, t this, this uh, strategy of how to make a food processor. Because for as long as I have been a cook, I have always been frustrated by these features of uh, food processors. I actually just got rid of all my food processors way before I was cooking on um, the blog and all that kind of stuff. It's just, it was like at one point it was easier to just chop them myself because it was so frustrating to me. This may not be frustrating for you and by all means, I'm, I'm just saying if you're frustrated, this is the model to try. So this again is one of those things that just stacks there is a place you can see exactly where it goes it is not it's not I have to figure out the combination of how this goes and then it snaps on the side boom this is your uh, you know feeder that you can feed things in and I just like I said uh, once I started using one of these in the trailer I think the one in the trailer I want to say that this one is a 12 cup, and I think the one in the trailer is either 8 or 10. I'll look it up in my Amazon history and put it in the notes so you guys will know exactly what size it is. But this is the one that I found on Amazon. The other one I had found in the store at Walmart like years ago when I had forgot my food processor um, in the um, trailer when we were uh, out and about. So that's so anyhow I'm very happy to get this guy on the team here in the kitchen but like I said next week we will be back on foodie Friday with another food recipe with you for you guys but until then if you like this video we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up if you're not already a member of the crock posse we'd love for you to click subscribe and become a member of our slow cooking family around here and our foodie loving family and our food processor loving family apparently if you would like notified every time we upload a video click the ding -a ling down below that is the bell that YouTube will notify you to let you know that we um, have uploaded a new video, whether it be a cooking video 
or a travel video or a vlog, but whatever you do, we, we hope you laugh often, eat good food. Bye guys. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.